Xi Jinping warns about a possible U.S.-China war and population implosion because of the new conflict between the USA and China. He thinks that civilization is on borrowed time, and if we don't change our daily activities, we might face global collapse. According to Xi Jinping, China is warning America and there are behind-the-scenes processes that are unknown publicly. In an interview with Ursula von der Leyen, Xi Jinping spoke about the high likelihood of U.S.-China tensions escalating in the not-too-distant future because the U.S. was trying to push Beijing into attacking Taiwan, according to the Financial Times. In fact, this is one of the motivating reasons for Xi Jinping to de-escalate this tension before he makes any important decision about Taiwan. He expressed that in the event of a global war, there would be another dark age with radioactive rubble. So global leaders should do everything they can to make sure this does not happen. Xi Jinping said during the conversation with National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, in this changing and turbulent world, countries need solidarity and coordination, not division or confrontation. He went on to say that given we've had two world wars in the last century, three if we include the Cold War, it's unlikely we'll never have another war. That's why Xi analyzed the situation and how dangerous this environment is. According to Xi, while World War II was said to be the war to end all wars, we now know this to be untrue. With many countries harboring their own nuclear weapons, tensions at an all-time high in the Middle East, the rise of the Taliban in Afghanistan, Russian occupation of nearby Georgian and Ukrainian territories, and of course, the constant threat of North Korea. It does seem like U.S.-China tensions make everything worse. For this reason, Xi Jinping warns leaders around the world to be careful and establish relationships for maximizing peace between big countries. That's why the Chinese leader gave a new warning to the U.S., telling them to stop sending weapons and military help to Taiwan. He also talked about China's recent naval moves in the South China Sea, which some nearby countries believe is part of a bigger plan for China to control the area. Meanwhile, the Chinese military started a new round of live fire exercises, and the commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet met with his counterpart in Manila, assuring a fast response if China's actions became violent. The USA responded to this situation by stating, We did raise our concerns about some of the destabilizing actions that have taken place, including the ramming of Coast Guard vessels and unsafe intercepts. But how likely is this war, and just how long will it take? And this conflict between Xi Jinping and the USA is not new, because everything started four years ago. The conflict between Xi Jinping and the USA got worse in 2022, when US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan in August. China considers Taiwan part of its territory under the One China policy, and Pelosi's visit was seen as a challenge to that claim. It was the highest level U.S. official visit to Taiwan in 25 years, which angered the Chinese government. Xi Jinping, already dealing with tense relations with the U.S. over trade and technology issues, saw this visit as a threat to the region's stability and China's position. Xi Jinping reacted strongly, giving several warnings before the visit. He made it clear that China was against what he saw as a disruption to the situation in Taiwan. In a call with U.S. President Joe Biden shortly before Pelosi's trip, she famously warned, those who play with fire will perish by it. He stressed that the U.S. should stay out of what China considers its internal matters, making it clear that China was prepared to defend its territory if necessary. Xi's words were intended to show that China would not accept any actions supporting Taiwan's independence. After Pelosi's visit, China showed its displeasure through military drills around Taiwan, including firing missiles over the island for the first time. Xi justified these actions as necessary to protect China's sovereignty. He said, the Chinese military will not stand idly by, referring to the need to respond strongly to Pelosi's trip. Along with military actions, China also halted some diplomatic talks with the U.S., including discussions on climate change and military cooperation which worsened the relationship between the two countries. And in the last few years, U.S.-China conflict got even worse. In 2023, the conflict between Xi Jinping and the U.S. grew worse, mainly because of disagreements over Taiwan and technology. The U.S. continued to support Taiwan by selling weapons and having meetings with its officials, 
which China saw as a violation of its control over Taiwan. Xi Jinping warned that China would not accept any U.S. interference in Taiwan, saying that the reunification of Taiwan with China was inevitable. This showed China's growing frustration with U.S. actions. The technology sector also became a major area of conflict, as the U.S. placed more restrictions on China's access to advanced technologies like semiconductors and AI. The U.S. said it was for national security, but China saw it as an attempt to stop its growth in technology. Xi Jinping responded that China would not be held back by any country and would continue developing its technology despite the U.S. limits. On top of that, diplomatic tensions rose because China grew closer to Russia during the conflict in Ukraine. The U.S. criticized China for not condemning Russia, while China accused the U.S. of increasing global tensions through its alliances. Xi Jinping called for the world to reject Cold War thinking and the creation of opposing groups. These disagreements over Taiwan, technology, and global politics made the relationship between the U.S. and China even more strained in 2023. And today, in 2024, the conflict got even more interesting when Chinese leader Xi Jinping called for better relations between the U.S. and China during a meeting with U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan on Thursday, according to a statement from Beijing. Xi spoke about the long-standing friendship between the two countries and said China wants to keep U.S.-China relations stable and improve them. He also took a warmer approach than usual, asking Sullivan to send his greetings to President Biden and saying he was open to staying in contact with him. This softer tone suggests that China is trying to slow down the worsening of U.S.-China relations, which have been strained by U.S. limits on high-tech exports, tensions over Taiwan, China's support for Russia in the Ukraine war, and what Sullivan described as China's destabilizing actions toward the Philippines in the South China Sea. According to the Chinese Foreign Ministry, Sullivan assured Xi that the U.S. also wants stable relations with China. Both sides described the talks as open, meaningful, and productive. Wang Yi, quoted by China's state news agency Xinhua, emphasized that the relationship between China and the U.S. depends on the guidance of their top leaders. They also discussed plans for a phone call between the two leaders in the coming weeks. Xinhua reported that a potential meeting between U.S. President Joe Biden and China's President Xi Jinping was also part of the discussion. Sullivan and Wang talked about the need for military leaders from both countries to communicate and possibly hold video calls between their military commanders when the time is right, according to the Chinese summary of the meeting. Wang added that the key to good relations between China and the U.S. is to treat each other with equality, and for now, there is no reason to think that this conflict will end anytime soon. And that's it for today.